Will my Dell back again with another quick tutorial. Um, I am shooting for Mott and Bow and State of Matter, uh, two different outfits, but I had to get it done and my retoucher uh, got jammed up. So I guess I'll just go ahead and do it myself. And I um, guess I'll show you guys how I shoot my editorial as far as when I'm doing my brand ambassador thing on my Instagram. This is new for me too, baby. Here is me downtown Savannah. And uh, as you can see, I was just testing out the shot just to get my exposure right. And um, usually what I'll do, I'll go look for some images that I like first to shoot. And then, um, it gives you, you know, different angles, different images. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I shoot um, for different brands. And uh, post it up for you guys, because it's like, not that hard uh, I mean, you have a trigger uh, you can throw your phone as you can see I'm looking at my phone because I have my phone triggered to my Canon I have a Canon R6 I love it it is tag sharp uh, my go-to lens is 35 millimeter 1.8 uh, macro I love it it's, it's just awesome so um, yeah so let's just go ahead and jump on the image right quick I already retouched up one of them which is this one here uh, you can see this is the basic color grade. What I like to do, I'll take an image, I'll color grade it here in Capture One, uh, which is my go-to. I used to love camera uh, raw through uh, Photoshop, but this one is, I love it. it it's, it's more um, flexible for me. And um, I can pull more colors from my raw images. And since I have a better camera now, it, it, it just makes it so much easy. So what I'll do, I'll take the image that I like and I'll color grade it in here. As you can see, the knob move. Let's go back to like the color. Here we go. Uh, or maybe this right here. Here we go. Slide this up. No, I guess not. I just want to show you guys the, the difference in here and the adjustments I made. What I like to do, I kind of like to knock those highlights out, bring the color back in and um, tone down the brightness on the skin. The sun was pretty out there. So kind of knocked down the highlights a little bit. A shave so it's pretty good if i had a reflector i could have knocked out some of those shadows up under the eyes but you know i am 40 years old i'm getting up there <laughs> but hey you know still a handsome young man i might say i might add so uh, there's some uh building some, uh building downtown savannah i have shocked i gotta get out of the house so but this is my color grade so after i color grade it in here in capture one what i would do is just like click on it and i right right click and hit edit with adobe photoshop and then when it, I'm done retouching it, I'll bring it back in here and then I'll add another grade uh, on Capture One. So if you wanna see the three differences, I have the original image, the color grade inside here, and then my retouch after um, Photoshop. As you can see, like on the street, I took away um, the skid mark. Uh, I removed the pylons. A lot of people don't like notice stuff like that. But that's like, big on retouching you gotta pick stuff up when, I, when I'm looking at images the first thing I do I'll scan an image and I'll be like you know what's the first thing that catches my eye that's distracting me and um uh, does this thing have annotations it does okay I love it all right so let me get on my Wacom tablet and bring my mouse over here so some things like um this is distraction you know any distraction you want to get rid of i was thinking about removing these things that are holding up um how you change the color of this um still learning guys about that oh there we go all right and i could drop that so right click i was thinking about removing these but i was like nah i could do that but this right here had to go this right here had to go and I, this was a distraction. So when you when you're viewing the image, you look around and you scan and you look for stuff like, okay, what's what's distracting my eye? You know, um, one second here. Oh, China. There we go. You know, like this right here. You know, like somebody punched me. You know, just like stuff you want to you know take notice of when you're retouching the image. And then uh, when you bring it into Photoshop, you're like, okay, that's the first things I want to uh, go after. That's the first things I want to take. So when you do the retouch, you know, you can knock out the, the spots. You're like, we got that one done. Kind of blended it out, you know. Um, 
pylon over here. Got that removed, got the street removed. So you always want to make like notations of what are you doing so you can like, stay focused uh, when you're going in and you're retouching your image. And this is my final image from the color grade. So, um, uh, let me see if it's zooming close. Kind of close, you know, it's just nice, subtle clouds are in there. You don't want to overdo it. You know, if this is for a company, you got to keep that in mind. So you'll, all that extra creative stuff you have to do all the whole time. But if you're going to be posting this image and they're going to be resharing it to their page to like sell their products, you want to keep it, you know, nice and simple. But um, how about we retouch the image? You know, let's just go grab one. Another thing I love about Capture One, uh, not to cut you guys off, like somebody else is talking, I'm the only one talking. So the, the color grade I did for this, all I have to do now is just go over here to my clipboard over here and just like click copy. And, um, hold up, is that it? Look over here. Yep, that's it. Okay, it copied it. So it's gonna copy every adjustment I made to this image right here. It's gonna copy all the, the adjustments I made. So I could just bring that and just like, you know, black out, you know, hit them with the apply, you know, same color grade. This is, a, I'm also gonna be selling my, uh, my color grade packs guys. So make sure you swing by my website or just follow me on Instagram at Will Mydell. I'll be posting them as I go. So when you go into Adobe uh, Camera Raw or Capture One, um, you'll be able to just uh, load them up and apply them. And I, I'll show you guys samples. So I have certain type of looks I like um, to, to go with certain type of uh, clothing. So, but enough of that. Let's find an image we can retouch. How about we go with, um, mm -hmm. Kind of like that one. I got. Hold on. What are we? Is is it the shirt? Yeah, we're, we're doing the shirt. Okay. Because I know those jeans aren't the jeans are my bow. So I like this one. It's like I'm going to school. It's like a school poster or something. Hang up on the side of a cafeteria, right? Is it sharp? Is everything in it? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Nice. All right, annotation time. So what do we got here? We got. Um, I don't like the sign. I don't know why I catch that. I don't think I'm gonna fix that because that's a lot of work. That mean I would have to basically uh, draw this in over here to remove those trees. Basically, this tree has to go. This tree has to go. That, that's a lot of clone and stamping. Uh, clone and stamp. That's a lot of healing brush. I don't feel like doing all that. Then I, I don't like this light. This little fire hazard thing here. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, Hmm, I don't like the car, but I don't have enough information over here to copy from. Uh, it looks like the storm is coming. Let's think about this, guys. What do we got? And I really don't dislike this. I don't like this light either. You know what? I'm gonna come back to this one because that's that's a lot of work. Even though that light is cool, it's just it's, it's distracting. I don't I don't feel like doing that much work right now for you know this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is gonna keep moving, and um. See if we can find another image. I'll go back to those also. Let's see. I like this one. This is studious. Nice, but I want to make some adjustments. How about the, uh, I think I pulled in the blues too much. Now that I know that, let me see. Let's try this. One. All right, so let's go back up here and we're going to re-auto adjust the white balance. That looks pretty good. And let's just, um, what do I want to do? Where's the color at? That's what I'm concerned about. Check the midtones, shadows. Shadows are right. It's not that. Midtones is up there. It's pretty up there. Hmm, interesting. What else do we got? We have uh, levels. Okay. We really, what I'm looking at right now, really is this area right here under the side of the face. I'm looking for what can I target to attack that part. And I'm thinking it's gonna be my, my mid-tones. Or it could be my shadows, I'm not sure. Maybe the shadows, that did help a little bit. I look like I wanna punch somebody in the face, man. What is wrong with that guy? Jeez. 
bring some more midtones back in. All right, and switch the flags. Yeah, it's a little more flattering. Nice, I like that. All right, so about right there. Drop the highlights kind of too harsh. And raise the whites, open that up a little bit. Where are my blues? These blues are like uh, giving me the blues. How about this? Uh, uh, yeah, spreading that background up a little bit. It's a little too purple for me. Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Drop saturation a little bit. Bump that set, baby. Bump that set. All right, all right. Okay, I think I can ride with that. And I think I need to go back to my levels. And, um. Oh, right there. Let's try that right there. Let's see something. I should have cloned that so I can see the before and after. I'm going to clone it and I'm going to reset this one so I can see the changes that is nice that is nice it's kind of contrasty over here though i like that it's giving it's giving me a whole edge over here i want that back so you know what i want that back i want the edge back let's get back to this contrast let's see what we got okay i'm feeling that i'm feeling that what y'all think i didn't get some sleep man everybody man you be tired i'll be tired cuz you see my face cuz i i i'll be tired man be right here working about it. Yeah, I like that. That's nice right there. Yeah, not too. Yeah. All right. I think I can ride with that one. What y'all think? I'm still not happy with these blues, though. You know what? I'm pretty sure I have options on here, right? Let's go to advance. Let's get in here. Um. All right. Yeah, it's just too blue for me. Man. Drop that set. So, man, that, that set up. I don't even like the, the, the fact that the trees are so green like that. I'm to, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, I can take that. Let me see. Let me see. How's it all, all on the look on the edges? It was already like it was blown out anyway. I brought detail back into the shot. Interesting. So, how about I target these greens also? Well, let me see something. Let me see something. Right there. Right there. It's just too hot for me. There we go. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. All right. Um. Let's get it go. Let's get it on the cracking, man. Let's get let's get this thing up in Photoshop and make it do what it do. But um, I thank you guys for uh, joining me. We're 13 minutes in. I'm probably gonna speed through some of this. Um, I think I'm gonna speed through the re the dodge and burn. I wanna put you guys through that. And um, I'm gonna speed through the dodge and burn. See this uh, original right here. See all these layers. Oh, there we go. As you can see, how I built this. I came in like here with the, and I, I went and did my clone stamp layer right there. Let's open this up for you guys. I gotta get used to this update. I need to create a new workspace that's a uh, that I can enjoy. All right, boom. So, clone stamp, boom, knock them babies out. And knock the street out. Clean all that up. Then I had to go and work on that because the clone kind of looked double. You don't make it seem like, oh, that was Photoshop. You know, clean it up. I'm gonna dodge a burn, clean up the face a little bit. Right there. You know, I should have lessened. Let me see something. Yeah, I like that. 
a little more authentic. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You ain't gotta be too clean. Yeah, bring that black, black and white back in. I like the black and white layer because it kind of gives a little more uh, pop to it. And then I add another black and white layer on it and drop the percentage down to, I mean, the opacity down to like maybe somewhere in like 12 under. I kind of like desaturated a little bit. And I usually do more on this, but uh, today I was like, you know what, let me bring it right back into Capture One. And that's what I did. So I'm going to keep this one up because I'm probably going to drag these layers, these color grade layers over to this layer. And, um, show you how when you retouch you could just apply certain color grades to the next one while you're in photoshop oh i see some cleanup what is this what is your purpose in my photo young sir explain yourself young sir you piece of yellow sign looking thing it might be a building or something i don't know either way it has to go so let me just control j duplicate that let me get a, you know what if i had time i would just take all these power lines out should i I don't know. Let me see something. Yeah, because it's power lines. I go see that. Done. I don't talk myself into it. Hold on to your butts, guys. Let's get to it. I think I'm going to clone this one. I went from sleepy to fresh out the shower. Let's get some work done. And sleepy, fresh out the shower. Let's get some work done. Just like that. Clean, to, uh, you know, no serious ma manipulations. Just basically clean up work. And if I would get some sleep, I won't be out here looking like I just got through fighting Rocky. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm Apollo Creed. But uh, yeah, that's how I feel, man. And it's like, you know, Go exercise, put in the work. Honestly, from a man perspective, and I'm speaking from men, you know, point of view. Um, it it'll be more, it, you know, the conversation between us and you guys would be, you know, a little more easier and genuine. All right. So instead of me creating all those color grades again, how about I just drag over this to this? So first, let's see what we got here. We got um, a black and white layer, so I just hold down shift and just drag it over here. Boom. And our next black and white layer, hold down shift and drag it over here. Right there. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do is bring this back. Well, I'm gonna save it so it'll go back to capture one. And once it's done save, when I pull it up in capture one, I'm gonna just apply the same color grade I had to this, to this image right here. And uh, you'll see the difference. It, it'll look very similar. The thing is, you want to keep all your images, you know, you know, looking the exact same. You want to keep some consistency between them. You don't have like multiple color grades up there. I mean, having all the same images color graded and maybe like maybe one or two of them in black and white. That's pretty cool. But uh, you don't want to just like go overboard with it. Like I said, once again, if you're working or shooting something for an actual brand, you want to kind of keep some type of level of consistency between all of them. So. I think I'm gonna throw in a few images without the briefcase and 
see what those look like as you can see here so you got the original image color gray retouch and i honestly could have removed this white part of the street too you know what should i hmm. it's not that big of a distraction you know what and i feel like if i take it out the image would be a little too blah so you know what? i'm gonna keep it yeah if i take it out the image is just kind of like die out so um went from like a blown out look had had to remove a whole tree out here in these streets cleaned up the shirt a little bit where the wrinkles were at you know see how the color gray and the retouch look remember these little pylon things back here okay i could have did a better job cleaning it up but that's kind of far back so i don't think nobody gonna be zooming in and all that too much hey he fixed he changed the face right there boom okay all right but i gotta add me another color so let's see what we got we're gonna go up to the grade we have on this one and we're gonna copy that one And this was that was the retouch one at that was the color grade we applied to the retouch photo after we brought it back in the capture one. That's the one I'm copying. And I'm gonna apply it to this one. And mm, a little blown out. Let's see what we can make some quick adjustments here. Um as you can see, we do want to keep everything consistent. So let's drop the whites down, bring it back up to about right here. Maybe drop the highlights down. Whoa. I don't want to drop them that much and bring whites back up. Wow, the slider's moving faster than normal. Like that, and we'll bring these blacks up some and the shadows. You can really tell this was like a, a, a casting, uh, as far as like the, the, the clouds being out. It's like because you don't want to you know <laughs> with these images you have to just you have to you have to you have to you have to put out what was given and um what was given on this shot was a lot of uh a lot of clouds it was a it was a it was an overcast so you don't want to push it too much and lose some of the integrity of the photo so sometimes you might have to just play with you want to push it too much because you like, oh, I want this type of look. So I'm going to have to turn down the green in this a little bit. I think it's too sharp, too. I'm not sharp enough. That might be it. I'm trying to figure out why, where this extra grunge is coming from. It may be from the contrast. It is from the contrast. That looks better. That looks better. I know it's coming from somewhere. So I might be, go back and add my green. Just a little bit. Give it a nice little film green. And while we're zoomed in, let's go to my basics and go to my that uh right there. And that's nice. Uh like that. And I think that's about it guys. Um let's see what else we're we working with. Structure. Let me dehaze it a little bit by four percent. That looks good. And bring the sharpness back up. All right there. I think I'm gonna roll with that. I went from here to here. That's pretty good. I like that. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is just go to the image I retouched. Easily I could just go up here and click in PSD because it'll go to the PSD files I worked on, which are these two. And I'm gonna just click on right and click on export out to variants, which it shows on the other, my third, my tablet, which you couldn't see, but you know. And we're gonna go to the session output folder, which is this folder right here. And just create a subfolder for it. And I'm not making this smaller, so. 300%, 300, yeah, resolution. And fix at 100%. Now that's pretty huge. 
Um, since I'm going to be posting this on Instagram, I think I'm gonna drop this down maybe like 40%. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go load that up and go tag those um, who I'm shooting for. It's nine o'clock. I'm probably gonna go retouch some more photos and uh, post those also. So, and maybe I'll do another um, retouch tutorial because I have other images down here of me like I'm in Coco Cabana, you know. Look at me, I got, look, I'm shooting behind the back with it with the, the trigger, woo, smooth with it, boy, what y'all know, what y'all know about that, like, hey, snap, 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 snap. <laughs> hey, man, look, hey, y'all wanna learn, just follow my channel. Uh, I can have you out here, you know, shooting your own photos um from one of the top from one of the best you know you, you can tell right now this looks something like straight out of a macy's catalog you know with the xxl the bottom you know, uh, a medium a large and 1999 our flash sale this memorial day only at jc pennies <laughs> let me go y'all hey like subscribe and follow me on instagram at mr Mydell. that's my personal page all my work will be on my Will Mydell page. I'm on Facebook too, at Mr. Mydell. All right, and um, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Thank you guys.